Good evening, humans. Tyrannosaurus Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Samurai Animals Spring figure from Fury Toys. The build-up to the release of this figure has been very interesting. It's one that I've been personally very interested to get in hand, and uh, you know, we all have the same questions. How does it scale? How does it move? Uh, does this line have the power to go, to go the distance? And uh, we're gonna answer all of that, so let's take a look. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure is absolutely unbelievable. There is not a nanometer of this figure without some detail on it, and it's all painted. Uh, you know, it's impossible to show it all in the kind of two minutes that I usually allow myself to go over these things. But, um, you know, as we can see, just the face is very well done. The washes are all just, they, they, the washes really bring it to life. And, you know, I still remember seeing the initial shots of this on Instagram and being like, that looks amazing. I'm sure it's not going to translate as well once you get it in hand, but wow, was I proven wrong. Like every inch of this is completely just filled with detail there's a wash everywhere everything is painted and uh you know it just it the, the love they put into this figure absolutely shows um you know all the wraps uh all the, like little punched in details with the metal pieces on like the arms like the silver on the knee pads like it's just it's just i don't know how to describe this shade of silver it looks like actual metal pieces um and you know i, I say that a number of times with with metal but or like painted metal but uh, this actually looks like it. And the leather looks aged perfectly. Bottom of the feet, completely detailed and painted. I mean, they did not have to go this hard. And uh, yeah, it just, it totally works for it. This is one of the best turtle shells I think I've ever seen. Um, just has some really nice depth to it. And uh, you know, even the straps being part of the sculpt, I think was a very smart move. Uh, when we get into articulation, we're gonna talk about some of the cuts and how I think that's really well done. And just, yeah, cannot recommend this enough just on aesthetics. Like, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous figure. Uh, so, yeah, that's aesthetics. We get an absolutely killer loadout of accessories here. And actually going to split these into two parts because they are packaged that way. And I'll get to that when I get to the second half. Uh, so right out of the box, we do get some gripping hands. As you can see, they are just kind of sealed off in that sculpt. So you're not really going to be able to pry the hands apart. Uh, not only that, but here's our standard head that we just looked at. And uh, I, I believe, I would say this scarf counts as a, an accessory, but I'm leaving it on there. And just, I love the way they weathered this. It looks perfect. They folded it perfectly. Just, man, it's just, again, the, the, photo, the promo photos that they put out for it absolutely have been delivered upon here. So that is absolutely 100%. Then we get a few weapons. So we get a couple kunai. Uh, as you can see, same love and attention to detail went into these with the weathering on the uh, grips and uh, you know, just a little bit of black and silver as well. Uh, these are also very sharp. Um, not usually a fan of the very heavy, like hard plastic accessories, but these are done pretty well. And then we get a couple of sides. I'm sure there's an actual name for this. If you know it, please let me know in the comments. And uh, same thing with the wash over the wraps. Uh, just some really nice weathering, really brings it to life and uh, kind of a duller, more sort of gunmetal silver for the blades. Then finally, we get a couple of these kind of weighted chain pieces, and this is actual chain. As you can see, it's kind of a brass gold sort of color. Um, and there are the open rings here at the end. Um, pretty easy to pry apart. I haven't done so yet, but I've, I've done some jewelry work and I'm used to seeing these. And then we get a plastic piece on the end for the weight. And uh, these can be attached to obviously the kunai or the sides um, as you have those rings on the bottom. So there's that. And then you get a separate box that says custom kit. This comes in addition to the main box with the figure. And uh, as far as this goes, we get another head sculpt, which might look somewhat familiar. And uh, again, just beautiful, beautiful detail. Love the attitude in it fully painted, like a lot of the shading and stuff really kind of works wonders here. And then we actually get an actual cloth uh, backing or tie off for the headband, which is really, really cool. It weathered just beautifully. Then we get a separate set of hands. So we get some splayed out uh, kind of, you know, action hero pose hands painted with full detail as they were before. Um, so, uh, or as same as the fists, so excellent there. And then finally, we get a couple of ninja swords. Uh, so same thing, grips with a lot of detail. The scabbards have tons of just wash and aging, weathering. Look at the sword itself. I love this kind of style of sword and 
you know, whatever Leonardo or something that's supposed to be Leonardo looks like this, I, I'm very happy because I love this look. And uh, you, know, you can see just kind of that brighter silver that we saw in the kunai. So that will do it, pardon me, for accessories. Articulation, balance, figure feel, all of these things are on point here. Uh, I'll just start off saying the figure feel is definitely similar to some NECA figures, uh, certainly NECA turtle stuff, so that might be a little familiar. Uh, moving on to balance, like feet are nice and wide, so even with that sculpting underneath it, it just holds a standing kick very, very nicely. In terms of the finer points of the articulation, we are on a dumbbell joint for the neck and the head. Um, so we are gonna run into the shell a little bit, but we do get a little bit of up. There's our neutral, and we can look down. We get lots of nice tilt. We come to the shoulders, we are on a hinge and swivel. Uh, obviously it's gonna be a little more limited here with this shoulder pad, uh, but we can still hit our T. Uh, no bicep swivel, but we are single jointed at the elbows, which is bringing us to 90, and we get our swivel there as well. Our hands are actually on barbell joints as well, uh, so you can move those all the way around. They let, allowed some nice room under the hand sculpt for that. So that's very, very nice. Uh, when we come to the uh, diaphragm or the kind of crunch situation, I think this is probably the best I've seen for any turtle figure. And it's brilliant because all they did was take the top half of the torso and the, tur the shell is part of that. So we actually do get a little bit of a crunch. It's not like a deep, deep crunch, but we do get some movement there and we get some movement back as well. And some tilt so we do get some movement all around nothing super crazy but i mean it's a turtle shell it's not like they're like folding in half there so uh so there's that and the the uh tail we can see here is actually part of the hips and that assembly so that is the torso come down to the hips and this is not quite as much as i was hoping for but you can definitely work with it as you saw as i posed with the kick and uh so we're not really getting any full splits there and we're getting a little bit of swivel there because we are on ball joints for the hips. Um, it's kind of hard to see because the, the sculpt is pretty tight. Then we come to the knees, we are double jointed. We can fold all the way in half. And we come down to the feet. We get some really nice point. We get even a little bit of forward and some full on rocker. So that's articulation. Getting into probably the most controversial aspect of this figure, the size comparisons, starting off with various TMNT lines. With some Hasbro and some Mattel. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with an articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the Samurai Animals Spring figure from Fury Toys is that this is an insanely good figure. I mean, the, just again, the attention to detail, the paint, the sculpt, the accessories, the posability, even with the limitations, it's just all just fun and incredible. And like, honestly, if you're a Ninja Turtle fan, I definitely recommend picking this up. Uh, again, the contentious point is absolutely the scaling. Uh, personally, I do not have an issue with that just because I think the turtles should be shorter than standard people. Um, but you know, it's, it's going to differ depending on what, what version of the turtles you grew up with and, you know, just kind of your personal attachment to it. So, you know, obviously, you know, everybody's going to be different there and that's totally cool. Like there's so many Ninja Turtle figures that came out this year, just first party and officially licensed that this is just kind of off to the side. And, you know, obviously mixes various visual elements from different iterations of the turtles and uh, part of one of my favorite parts about it. So uh, yeah, um, I don't think this is available at the moment. Uh, they definitely, they did the, the pre-order that went out. Then they did a small run uh, after that, that was available at least here in the States. Uh, and that was all through 5ktoys.com. And uh, I believe they're sold out at the moment. However, uh, I would say that the possibility remains going forward that as they bring out the other um, season, seasonally named turtles, uh, we might see re-releases of, you know, spring and then, you know, autumn and uh, winter and summer as they come out. So, uh, you know, keep an eye on that and I'll keep a link in the description below if there is one to be had um, for where you can pick this up. If not, definitely keep an eye out on 5ktoys.com. So, uh, yeah, all that being said, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff. I am on the long road to a thousand subs, so everyone helps. And I just appreciate you being here. So join me multiple times a week for various reviews of 
toku dinosaurs monsters and pro wrestling figures so yeah with that being said i hope you take care of yourself take care of those around you and most importantly stay weird simians